Hello programmers, how are you? In this video, I will show you how you can install, configure and run Java FX in your Eclipse IDE. To do that, first of all, we need to uh, install a Eclipse plugin for FX. Uh, I am in Windows version, so my Eclipse is showing like this help button. Uh, if you are in Mac version, so search for in the menu item. Then click in the Eclipse marketplace then in the search option search for fx then hit the enter button well we find our plugin and then click in the install button then click in the i accept button and in the finish so you are seeing that in the below our java fx application is installing so wait for a minute for finishing the installation procedure after completing your installation eclipse will notify you to restart the eclipse id so just click in the restart now. Now click in the file, then new and search for other. Okay, here you will find Java FX. Okay, here is the Java FX. Just click here and click in the Java FX project and click next. Just give a name of this project. Then click in the finish. Okay, just click in the source button, application main. You are seeing that uh, here we are facing some errors and we have to solve this. Now this program is not recognizing Java FX, uh, so we have to download Java FX. I will give this link in the description box. Just go here and search for your latest version of java fx here we are seeing that java fx windows 64 sdk just download the latest version of java fx after downloading this file just extract it it is not important where you are extracting but always keep remember the path where you are extract the files Okay, now go back to your Eclipse ID. Now click in the window, then preference and search for user libraries. You are seeing that we find our user libraries. Just click here new. Now give a name. It is not mandatory to give the same as I am writing. You can name this library whatever you want. Now click add external jars. Now get your path where you extract your Java FX. Now click in the lib. Now select all except the last file. Just apply and close. Now again click your project. Select build path and click on configure build path then click on the class path and click add library just click user library and next and just select this library just finish apply apply and close okay our error is gone so we can run our program but when i run this program we saw an error and we have to fix this so to fix this problem or error go in the run configurations then click argument and here you will see these vm arguments we need to write some command to do this i will provide this command in the description box that you have to modify this according to your path here you are seeing that in the quotation mark i wrote your path you have to delete this and select the file path where you extracted your java fx file for me it was local dc java fx and this then click in the lib and copy the path just paste here and copy the whole path and paste this path in vm arguments then apply and run okay you are seeing that our program successfully ran Thank you for watching this video.